Who is the richest person in the world? If you're thinking Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk, you might be surprised to learn it's actually Bernard Arnault. Yes, you heard right. Bernard Arnault. The name might not ring a bell like Bezos or Musk, but this French businessman has made quite a name for himself in the luxury goods market. As the chairman and chief executive of LVMH, the world's largest luxury goods company, Arnaud has had his fair share of the limelight, especially when it comes to wealth rankings. In December 2019, Arnaud briefly outpaced Amazon's Jeff Bezos, claiming the title of the world's richest person. He repeated this feat in January 2020, giving Bezos a run for his money. As of today, the Bloomberg Billionaires Index estimates his net worth at a staggering $123.7 billion. Now that we've established who Mr. Arnault is, let's delve into his journey. Born in 1949, Bernard Arnault was not always destined for the world of luxury goods. Raised in the industrial north of France, his early life was far removed from the gleaming boutiques of Paris and Milan. His father, Jean-Léon Arnault, was a successful manufacturer and young Bernard grew up in a world of concrete and steel, not silk and diamonds. Education played a crucial role in shaping the young Arnault. He was an exceptional student and his academic prowess earned him a place at the prestigious École Polytechnique, where he studied engineering. However, it was not the technical skills he learned there that would prove most valuable but rather the ability to think critically and solve complex problems. Upon graduating in 1971, Arnaud joined his father's company, Ferret Savinel, a business focused on civil engineering and construction. His father handed him the reins of the company in 1976, and under his leadership, the company flourished. But despite his success, Arnaud felt a pull towards a different industry one that was as far from the world of concrete and steel as you could imagine. In the late 70s, Arnaud began to invest in real estate, a move that would prove to be the stepping stone into the world of luxury goods. His real estate venture, Farinel, developed holiday accommodations on the French Riviera, an area synonymous with luxury and wealth. Through this venture, Arnaud was introduced to a world of opulence and extravagance, a world where brands mattered and where quality was everything. This exposure ignited a spark in Arnaud. He saw an opportunity, an industry ripe for disruption. He began to study the luxury goods market, learning everything he could about its intricacies and unique challenges. His engineering mind began to identify patterns and opportunities and he started to formulate a plan. But little did he know, his destiny was not in construction, but in the world of luxury. In 1984, Arnaud took a leap of faith and ventured into an entirely new industry. It was in this year that he set his sights on the struggling textile group, Boussac. This wasn't just any textile group, but the parent company of the illustrious fashion house, Christian Dior. Boussac was on the brink of bankruptcy, a far cry from its glory days. But where others saw a sinking ship, Arnaud saw an opportunity. He acquired the company for one franc, a symbolic price that represented the heavy debt Arnaud was willing to shoulder. But what was debt to one man was opportunity to another. And Bernard Arnaud was indeed that other man. Now Arnaud could have easily continued down the path of textiles, but he had a different vision. He saw potential in the brand that was Christian Dior. He believed in the prestige and allure that luxury goods could offer. He understood that people didn't just want products, they desired experiences, a sense of belonging, a mark of success. So he set about revitalizing Christian Dior. He shifted the focus from textiles to the luxury goods market. He invested in quality, in craftsmanship, in the Dior brand. He sold off the group's other assets, pouring resources into building the Dior name and reputation. It was a bold move. It was risky, but it was also incredibly smart because when you buy a luxury item, you're not just buying a product, you're buying a story, an experience, an identity. And Arnaud understood this. His strategic decisions paid off. Christian Dior started to regain its former glory. It began to thrive in the luxury goods market. And with this success, Arnaud's reputation grew. He became known as a man with an eye for potential, a knack for turning struggling businesses into profitable ventures. 
this was just the beginning of Arnaud's empire. The stage was set for Bernard Arnaud to become a titan in the world of luxury goods, a journey that would eventually lead him to helm LVMH, the world's largest luxury goods company. With one luxury brand under his belt, Arnaud was just getting started. The year was 1989, a time when the luxury goods market was ripe for the picking. Bernard Arnault saw an opportunity, and he took it, acquiring LVMH, also known as Moet Hennessy, Louis Vuitton. This strategic move was the cornerstone of what would become a luxury goods empire. But Arnault didn't stop there. He saw potential in a myriad of other luxury brands. He began to acquire them one by one, each time bringing his unique business acumen to the table. Louis Vuitton, Fendi, Sephora, these are just a few of the names that would become part of the LVMH family under Arnaud's leadership. Each acquisition was more than a simple purchase. It was a strategic decision, a calculated risk taken by a man with the vision to see the potential in these brands. He didn't just amass a collection of luxury brands, he breathed new life into them, investing in their development and positioning them for success. His approach was not about quick profits, but about building lasting value. He carefully curated a portfolio of brands, each unique yet united under the LVMH banner. The result? A luxury goods empire that spans the globe. An empire that has redefined the very meaning of luxury. Today, LVMH is the largest luxury goods company in the world, thanks to Bernard Arnault. So, how did Bernard Arnault go from a construction company to the world's richest man? He leveraged strategic decisions and business acumen to build an empire from scratch. From his first steps into the business world to his entry into the luxury goods market, Arnault's journey has been nothing short of extraordinary. Today he sits at the helm of LVMH, the world's largest luxury goods company, with an estimated net worth of over $123 billion. Bernard Arnault's story is a testament to the power of strategic decisions, fearless innovation, and unrelenting ambition. Who knows, maybe the next richest person in the world could be you.